I read a comment in the paper the other day by Bernard Salt, the social demographer, and he said, in Bali, on holidays, the people go to the temple. In Australia, the people go to Bunnings. And it made me think about a lot about Australian society and about how materialistic it is. And it made me begin to think about what is the spiritual nature behind Australian people? Now, if you look over the last 200 years, the, a lot of the stuff in the Bible has been quite under attack from evolution and also from science. So that a lot of those old ways we used to look on God or on nature don't really fit with us anymore. And so I think what's happening is a lot of people are throwing out the baby with the bathwater because up until very a little while ago, people would think of God as being big daddy in the sky with um, um, puppets down below and God controls everything. And that obviously doesn't work because in lots of ways, people today see all the struggles and see the suffering and see the wars and think, well, if God is like that, why doesn't God control all of this? So how does God control all of these sorts of things? And the, question, and the answer is, we don't really know. Now, from my experience, I know there is something out there because whatever it was out there spoke to me. And yet I know that in lots of ways, God is not a big daddy in the sky thing. God is a loving experience. Now, that loving experience, we can get through many sorts of, of experiences. We can get it looking one another in the eyes. We can get it reflecting on things. And, and I found in lots of ways, um, a good way to live is more a Buddhist way. And so you think, how does Buddhism and Christianity, how does that fit together? And all I can come back to is, is re-looking at what Jesus was talking about and rethinking some of that. And when Jesus talked about to find yourself, you have to lose yourself. I go back to some of these concepts of losing yourself in your reflection that you see in others. And in lots of ways, when Jesus was talking about the kingdom, you can have it now. He really meant that. So that, you know, when people say to me, oh, I'm doing good works so I can go to heaven when I die, I think, well, that's kind of rubbish. That's not really where I'm at. Because if you don't do things just for the goodness of doing them now, what is the use of those things? Because if you're doing it to go to heaven, it's some big manipulation and you don't really care anyway. So the big debate I'm having in my head is that is the concept of loving kindness in Buddhism and the concept of God as relational loving kindness. Uh, and, and both religions say you can get it now. Is that where the two are starting to come together? And is that the sort of spirituality that Australians are looking for? Because they must be looking for some sort of security because that's why you go out and do your household re renovations all the time. And that's why you go to Bunnings all the time. People are looking and investing in their homes. They're investing there because they think that's where they can find security. They can find security in bricks and mortar. So they spend all their time renovating and extending their home. The problem is though, bricks and mortar are vulnerable. They can be blown away in a cyclone, they can be burned down or there can be a flood so that all of a sudden, all of your material possessions can disappear. Then made me think a lot about what Jesus was talking about. You can lose yourself now. To find yourself, you have to lose yourself. How do you lose yourself? In loving experiences. That's how you lose yourself. And then you come back from that loving experience and you think, wow. And then Jesus said, you can find the kingdom of God now. You don't have to worry about the future. Think of the kingdom of God now. Now, what is the kingdom of God? But being in that loving, freeing experience. Where is it? But there, now. And that then made me think a lot about the nature of Buddhism. Because Buddhism talks a lot about being in the now, 
and loving compassion and I begin to kind of begin to wonder if there isn't some sort of synergy there that we have overlooked and the fact that as science gets away or moves us away a lot from big daddy in the sky sort of thing to actually God being the one who set things in motion maybe and to God being more a loving experience than an entity maybe there's some things in Buddhism and in Christianity that need to be explored further. Where do the two come together? Thank you.